And how do you go about like um, setting those similar boundaries? I had a conversation, um, I think it was about like two days ago um, on my other podcast. And uh, we were having a conversation about setting boundaries in the middle of a relationship. It could be any type of relationship with your mom, dad, you know, uh, friends, uh, you know, romantic relationship. But how do you effectively establish um, a boundary in a relationship when there's already been like subtle agreements, like this is our kind of our pattern, but I'm breaking into the pattern because it's no longer healthy for me. But yes. sometimes it can feel like this has everything to do with you and nothing to do with me because mm. this is what I've been used to doing for you. But it's like, I can no longer do this because this doesn't work for me anymore. So I feel right. like boundaries that you come in with are more acceptable than boundaries that you make in the middle of a relationship. So how do we like yeah. go about like making boundaries in the middle of something that we've already subtly agreed on, like unconscious. Yes. Uh, the communication is so important because the reality is we grow and change. Sometimes we grow and change together. Sometimes we grow apart. Mm. So people may have selected you, chosen you because you were a people pleaser. And then now you've been doing that for a while and you're tired and realizing I want some care too. And they're like, what is this? <laughs> right? Like you can't switch up. Well, that's human nature. We, we grow and we change. So it will be important to communicate those changes and then uh, to be aware that the person may accept the change or not. And then you have to be willing to decide what am I going to do if they are unwilling to follow the new guidelines, right? Uh, and some people will, and they'll grow with you. And this is the painful part of healing that a lot of people don't tell you is not everybody will like you whole, mm. right? Some people like, some people were drawn to you because you had low self-esteem because they could run the show and tell you to do whatever they wanted you to do. And then something happened. You went to therapy or you had some breakthrough and uh, you have a better sense of yourself. Mm. And there will be friends who will celebrate like, oh, my goodness. You know, I'm so glad you're like coming into yourself. And then there are some people who will say you changed and they don't like it. So when you are when you have had an awakening, it is very hard to go back to sleep. Mm. So. People will have to adjust to the new you. And if they don't, you may have to make some difficult choices. That homecoming is something different. Yeah. Yes. That homecoming is something different. It makes yes. me think about when 